Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in to Organic Power. This episode is an overview of AC coupling a Fronius Primo to my Victron Energy off-grid wall. The full video explaining everything is available for members at the moment. Once I get a thousand subs, I'll start releasing content to all. So help us out, hit that subscribe button, we'll get there quicker. If you don't want to wait, the best way to get all my content, how to's, tips and tricks is to become a member today. You can either join YouTube or subscribe to Patreon. Both channels have all the great information, how to connect the system, configure it. different types of arrays. I'm also gonna come out with a new episode about lightning protection. So that's coming up soon too. So the sun's out, got the air conditioning on. Got a uh, 1.5 kilowatt increase there from the seven panels. It's not quite midday. Probably push up to about 1.6. <clears throat> so 140 amps or so, going to the battery. Even with the six kilowatt load. Now I can configure the Primo to run AC coupled while I'm doing this bench test. Then uh, as soon as I've finished mounting and wiring the unit, it'd be good to go. The Primo has two inbuilt trackers. So to start, push the back button five or six times. Now the system will reboot. Takes a couple of minutes to synchronize, and do a self test. Then you get the green light again. I'll set up the Primo now for frequency shifting. And wait for that to load. To activate the Wi-Fi on the Primo, scroll across, now the Wi-Fi unit's turned on, the phone can access the Primo, so I've connected my old phone to the Wi-Fi, activated Wi-Fi on the Primo. This is the start up wizard here, the start assistant. I've already done it, so just go through and complete those steps. Once you've configured the Primo using the start up wizard, you'll have access to the settings here. And if you flick these buttons around, you'll see things change around. So you just have to make sure you get your the same configuration. So there's the MK3, that's connected to the Multi Plus. Back to the PC. And if you open the bus system configurator, make sure you got the uh, latest firmware installed. Got the configure open there. These settings have been modified. I'll just check all these settings once I've finished here. So I've loaded the panels on the roof, cut the rails to length. I'll go up now and kick a couple of tiles back, and put the mounting brackets in. 
going to have two separate arrays. One four panel, one three panel. They're on very different sections of roof, so it'd be better if they operate individually. So there's the first one. A little northerly there. Single string. This is the other string. Little three panel string. It's another northerly. So they're both northerlies, which is good. To be more efficient. So this one will go into one of the MPPTs inbuilt in the Primo. And the other one over the other side there. Go into the other one. Here's the position for the second hand 5 kilowatt Primo. I'll put the uh, backing plate up on the wall, mark out the fixings. I'll drill those marks with the rotary hammer now. I'll remove this gland. This will be where my AC will come in. I'll knock out this hole here. That's where my DC will come in. Now I can install the Primo. That's the easy bit done. There's the network cable pulled in. These are the isolators. I'll use this 25mm hole saw to cut a couple of penetrations in the back of these boxes. I'll mount the AC isolator about here. I've cut the second hole in. This drill bit is to pre-drill the mounting holes. Use this larger drill for the cable entry and the 6mm for the plugs to hold the isolator. Whenever you're fitting a weatherproof isolator, make sure you use silicon to seal the penetrations. Got that isolator mounted there now. For most weatherproof isolators that are mounted on a brick wall, I use a 30mm countersunk screw into those green wall plugs. It's a nice strong fixing. This is how the stripping tool goes on.
There's the little cut that the tool makes. There's the cables fanned out. It can be a bit tricky trying to get those little wires in all fanned out in the correct position. This is how it should look before you crimp. Now those little pins are being pressed into the cable. This little tag's being pressed into the sheath. Fixing that in place. It's ready to uh, be plugged into the machine now. It's very easy to fit these primos to the bracket. There's the front panel, back in place. This is my grid tied switchboard. I have two 1.5 kilowatt inverters connected to this. They were installed about 10 years ago. They were front ears as well. So 10 years, no issues. This is my off grid board. There's two power circuits, a lighting circuit, two air conditioning circuits. I finished this array yesterday. That's that little four panel string. I'll switch the isolator on. I've got my meter set to volts. Now that I have two strings installed, I have to go back into the menu and change that setting back to two MPPTs rather than just the single. I'll turn the DC back on. We turn the AC on. I'll wait for the system to load and we'll enter the code and make the change. The unit's live now. Got our two strings added. It's 6.30 in the morning, so the sun hasn't come out from behind the houses yet. We've got 90 watts, so we'll come back out when the sun's up and see what we get out of it. So the sun's out, got the air conditioning on. Got a uh, 1.5 kilowatt increase there from the seven panels. It's not quite midday, probably push up to about 1.6. <clears throat> so 140 amps or so going to the battery. Even with the six kilowatt load. So the AC coupled system handles AC load better and the DC coupled PV charger charges the batteries more efficiently. So they both have positives and negatives. Added together just makes the system stronger. I've almost got the Fronius Victron combination dialed in now. Just tweaking a few more settings. Once I've got everything sorted, I'll go through that with you. Here's another little setting to tweak. That's good to go. I also changed my maximum charge voltage on each device to 56 volts. This was working better and uh, filling the battery up a little bit more than having it set at 55. 
I've got the BMV 700 connected to the system. It didn't seem to be controlling the charge quite like I wanted it to. So I changed another setting through the configurator. Wait for that to load. If you've got any friends or family that might be interested in this sort of thing, give me a shout out. Always use a few more subscribers. Helps the algorithm and promotes the channel. We can uh, create more content. If you found the information in this video very helpful, hit that super thanks. That's probably the best way you can support us here on YouTube. We can come up with fresh content and information. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Add anything that uh, you might have to offer for other viewers on how to set up the system. Maybe you've had a crack. There's another little tweak you've made that's improved things. So yeah, share that information in the comments. This helps everyone out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.